welcome to Engaging New York, Module 4, Lesson 29. We're almost to the end of Lesson uh, uh, Module 4. Today's lesson, our objective is I can connect division by a unit fraction to division by one-tenth and one-hundredth. Okay, so remember back in Module 1 when we were multiplying, dividing by, by tenths, hundredths, and, and thousands, and we were moving the decimal? That's where we're going today. It should be really a nice review. Before we get started, though, divide. we are going to do some fluency. We're going to divide whole numbers by unit fractions and then fractions by whole numbers. So go ahead and start and come back and check your work in just a moment. All right, let's check our work. 4, 6, 16, 20, 21, 10, 20, 70, 100. Then we have 1 6, 1 12, 1 40, 1 20th, 20, 28, 1 28, 30, 1 30th. How'd you do? So this, this fluency practice is a review of lessons 25, 26, 27, and 28. All right, moving on to our application problem. Here we go. Fernando bought a jacket for $80, $185 and then sold it for one and a half times what he paid for it. Marcel spent one fifth as much as Fernando and sold it for half as much as Fernando. How much did Marisol make? Okay, where are we going to start on this problem? We don't have much room to work, so we're going to have to work in the margins or if you have extra space. All right. Um, where are you going to start? How are we going to know how much Marisol made if we have to go based on Fernando's jacket, right? So, Marisol spent one-fifth as much as Fernando and sold it for half as much as Fernando. So, we have to first start off with Fernando. So, I want you to go ahead I want you to try the beginning step. What are you going to do in order to solve how much Fernando spent on his jacket? Go ahead and start and come back. Okay. So did you start with 185 and you multiplied by one and a half, which is 185 by three over two, because you can't multiply a, a mixed number like that. You have to turn it to an improper fraction. Then 555 divided by 2 is $277.50. All right, what's step two? So this was step one. What's step two? Where are you going to go from here? So now we need to concentrate on Marisol, right? And so 185, she spent one-fifth as much as Fernando. So where are you going next with that information? All right, so hopefully you went $185 for Fernando, and Marisol spent one-fifth as much. So $185 over 5 is $37. So she spent $37 less than Fernando. All right, so now where are we going to go with this information? So what are you going to do next? So... Fernando bought a jacket for $185 and then sold it for one and a half times what he paid for it. Marisol spent one-fifth as much as Fernando and sold it for half as much as Fernando. So half. Now we're going to concentrate on half and half of what? Half the amount of what Fernando spent, right? Okay, take that information and go from there. Come back and check your work. Okay, so did you go $277.50? And you're multiplying by half, right? We're gonna we're trying to find half of that. So just multiplying by half will give you $138.75. All right, so that's how much Marisol paid for her jacket. Now, how much did Marisol make? What are you gonna do? You're gonna take your $138.75, $138.75, and you're going to use what operation with what other number? That's the question now. So $138.75 subtract $37 
is going to give you what? 101 dollars and 75 cents. Marisol made $101.75. So remember, this is the answer. When you answer the question, you need to include all the information. All right, that's going to do it for our fluency. Meet me back here for concept development.